In this video, I want to go over different types of SQL injections with you. You have your error-based SQL injection, your blind injection, time-based SQL injection, and union-based SQL injection. Let's start off by talking about the error-based. This type of injection depends on the error messages being tossed by the database server. It may give us some valuable data regarding the database structure. Here's an example of running an error-based SQL injection. You enter the command and you get an error that says something like this. You have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the manual correspond. This is telling me that what I entered is interacting with the SQL database. To me, that shows me that the SQL database is vulnerable. And then you have your blind injections. This happens when the application is vulnerable to SQL injection, yet the after effect of the SQL query is not returned. In the blind injection, we are querying the database for any true or false statements. For example, take my contracting website, pjpros.com. Let's say the user logged in, the ID is listed as 3. Well, what if we enter the same URL where the ID equals 3, and then we enter an additional command to say and 5 equals 6? Let's say the website gives us no response whatsoever. Well, it's telling us that the page is not vulnerable. However, let's say we updated the URL and instead of ID equals 3, we enter ID equals 3 and 1 equals 1. But we're allowed to go into the website. Well, then that means the page is vulnerable because now we know a SQL statement is being accepted by the database. And then you have your time-based SQL injection. Um, this strategy relies on injecting SQL query that makes the database wait for a particular time, dependent on the predetermined condition. An example is you note down how long it takes to get a response from a website. Then you add something like this at the end of it. Let's say there's a 10 second additional delay before you get the response from your original baseline. Well, then that means that the database is vulnerable. The last example I want to go over is union-based SQL injection. This procedure utilizes the SQL union operation to join the results of two selected queries in order to return one response. Here's an example for you. Let's say the URL I enter is ID equals 4, union, select 1, at at version. The result of this SQL injection produces the username from the database along with the database version, right? Basically, a union command will combine two results for you, showing that the database is vulnerable. Okay, I think that's about all I want to tell you about SQL injection. Why don't we go to the lab in the next video and I'll show you exactly how it works. Stay tuned.